Hello everyone, welcome to Man Manga Boy, and today we're just going to knock this out of the park. We are going to talk about our sponsor for today's video, sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Definitely check out the link down below using code MAN to get 5% off your next order. Definitely want to consider getting this for somebody in the new year. Start it right. Start it with J-Pan. Let's start off with Tokyo Treat here real quick. Just see what we got going on. New Year Snack and Party, you know, Volume 98, January 2024. Same, same me, new treats. At least according to Tokyo Treat. You know, we go through here a little bit. Red, white, song battle. I only know, um... Blackpink, but I don't think they're Japanese. I'm not big into that kind of a thing. The room, I look at that. We got Pokemon. We got One Piece. That's pretty funny. We like One Piece here. I don't know if you guys knew that, but we're big fans of the One Piece. We got the final countdown here. More on Hyokan from 2012 later, I guess, or earlier. <laughs> I guess I've gone through it backwards. Who would have thought? Oh, look, you can even scan this. I always like their Kit Kats. I think they're pretty neat, though. So, oh, I love these fucking fishes. So me and my wife will get these and they're frozen from like the Asian market and I love the ice cream ones. We have donuts, pretzels, little candies. Typically, Tokyo Treat is like uh, chocolate and other such salty goodnesses. Uh, so it looks like this is more of the same. Is this salmon flavored seaweed? <laughs> Interesting. Pop rocks, it looks like, a lollipop. Uh, Kit Kats. Last time our wife really, our wife, my wife really enjoyed this Soviet Russia. Our wife. <laughs> yeah, we really enjoyed our um, box last time. It took us a while to eat it actually. She's been begging me to do this already, but I've been sick and dying. So here we finally are going through it. We got a lot of potato chips in this one here. It looks like today some potato chicken chip. It looks like that could be good more ramen my wife liked the ramen last time and of course the lemon drink let's put all this away we're gonna real quick power through my favorite one of the two which i don't know if you guys knew this but there are two and the tokyo treat is always like my kind of a uh, sit back relax snacking kind of one but i really enjoy having this in poorly. I really enjoy having the, um, what's it called here? Sacrico. It always comes in this beautiful box. I love this box. Uh, gold. This one is focused on Hiroshima. They're always focusing on areas of Japan, so different like regions and provinces of Japan. We have a little postcard here, a note from the founder. As always, definitely feel like these are very nice. And you can see here that uh, the founder kind of reminisces on like um, serene moments with Hiroshima, spending time at the shrine, kind of getting these traditions nice and close to them that they've had since the past. And um, yeah, so this month hopefully reflects that. We have a little bit of a package here. Oh, that's cool. Man, that reminds me of like a uh, Naranda Yokai 100, 100 Parade, 100 Demon Parade. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that manga. It's pretty old. We have a few little of these candies here. Those are neat. A photo contest. You guys should probably join that. They got cats in here. Dogs. Why not? Your pictures too. So, yeah. Oh, they got Taiyaki in here as well. <laughs> not a big fan of banana, but I do like lemon. So yeah, these are always coming from like local, um, you know, producers and farms. That's where the ingredients tend to come from. Um, it's just pretty unique with this box. It's one of my favorite things about it. Truthfully, uh, you can kind of just tell it in the taste. <laughs> we have the tea here. Oh, the teyaki. This, these feel heavy. These feel like they're very good. My wife and I, like one of the biggest issues we had with um, the last box from last month was that there wasn't enough for uh, two of everything for the most part, but mostly everything had two. So we were like, oh, if only this one thing had two. So, but like, um, we really enjoyed it. I have no idea what this could be, but it feels good. 
Looks like we have a tablecloth for this year's like item, this month's item. More corn nuts, I think. I don't know what some of this stuff is, but that's okay. Me and my wife are gonna find out. Just oh, this looks good. That's a ton of mochi. Wow. All right, all right. So we have whoa, a little drink. This is lemonade. This is like a little paper thing of lemonade. That is cool. And it says that you cut it right there, and then you put it, I guess, into a cup. I don't know. I can't read the Japanese. But very cool. Huh. Very, very excited to read through. Try some of this out. In fact, why don't I eat some of this stuff now and have some tea along with it? I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. So Tokyo Treat Taco Co, just like before, experience the comfort of Japan from your own homes. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that will give you 20 exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks only available in Japan for a limited time. Whereas Soccer Co is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisanal Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and Japanese tableware. I know what you're thinking. What is this month's theme for each of the boxes? Tokyo Treats is the New Year Snack and Party. Celebrate the New Year with Tokyo Treats New Year Snack and Party box. It's filled with snacks inspired by Japan's Oshogatsu and New Year holiday such as a Lucky Red and White Kit Kat, Age Mochi and or or deep fried mochi snacks, uh, another way to say it, Itomen Yamai Mo Soba and many more. I don't know why they didn't tell me what that stuff meant. This month's theme is for Soccer Co. is New Year's in Hiroshima. This month's Soccer Co. embarks on a special journey to Hiroshima, partnering with the Hiroshima government to give you a unique box of delicacies and cultural treasures. Immerse yourself in the breathtaking nature and historic landmarks of Hiroshima, a prefecture known for its resilience and beauty. The light and curated selection of Hiroshima's finest treats like the lemon mochi, banana baumjin, uh, New Year Sembe, and Omikuji candy. All of them pair perfectly with our fragrant matcha azuki tea. Complete your culture experience with beautiful Niko Furoshiki, which is a little Japanese wrapping cloth. Hello everyone, what it is, welcome to Man Manga Boy, and it's a wonderful, amazing, beautiful manga unboxing video. We had a few little other unboxings in this video as well, I suppose, right? So why don't you just be a real great uh, supporter, click that link down below, eat some treats. Okay, I'll, I'll stop shilling, I'll stop shilling. Let's open them up. <laughs> Let's see here. More from Crunchyroll. Still from Grind. Are they really even gonna move? I think that might have been BS at this point. Let's take this all out of the way here. We got this whole process down these days. There it is, the masterpiece, JoJo's Big Adventure. Kiwi's Playhouse. We're gonna see if we can make today's video a little bit shorter for you folks at home. Cause I feel like I've been crapping out like 800 hour long episodes lately. Some of you guys have families members to get to like, come on. Won't have all day to see this guy open his manga. All right, all right, we got these out to the side here. We're gonna break these down a little bit before we do. I got just a few more boxes left here. This one's from a hidden source right there. Again, with this type of haul, if you're interested in getting these manga, let me know over in my email or shoot me a message on Instagram. Pretty responsive. If I don't respond to you on one medium, send me another message on another. Should get back to you on one of them. <laughs> I'm usually not too, too bad about replying. Might take like a day or so though. Okay. 
Let's open up this crate. Just two volumes in here. Get off a little bit on the easier side of things. This one. How'd you mean, Noe Poe? Volume 14. New Challenger arc. So we have a little bit of new artwork there. And we also have Baki the Grappler, Volume 19. Still the Maxim Tournament arc or Saga. Been working out lately just for this, this haul here. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Not no cap, like legit. <laughs> Have a hard time with it. Oh. Oh. JMA 14. Look at that. Well, let me break this all out for you guys so we can kind of go through these covers. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a quicker haul. Uh, that way, uh, <laughs> I can have a little bit of a break here. Uh, so let's open up all this stuff real quick. All right, welcome back. Let's break down the manga we have here. Uh, we've got to start off Hajime no Ippo, a uh, hardcover with some beautiful lousiness to it. So the back, you can see uh, a manga panel here of an important scene in the volume. Uh, and this is now the new challenger. Uh, arc still part of Road to Glory, so part one. Uh, so I have that right there. Again, I kind of designed this cover here to help break down Hajime no Ippo in the various parts and main sagas. Uh, the covers to these, I think, <laughs> came out perfect. Uh, as always, the series is super duper long, but it is great if you like sports manga boxing or just like a good slice of life i would check this series out a lot of fun pretty much it's about this guy who signs up for boxing as like kind of like a way to exercise stay in shape kind of find a place to fit in and it just takes off he ends up being one of the best uh, boxers of the generation again uh, this series is really great. I picked that picture here because it's the end of part one. So far, there's only three parts. I'm pretty sure they said the third part's the last part. Uh, but you can see them all by the side here. 11 through 16 I got in this time around. I got one through 10 in last time. I typically get these like once or twice a year. Definitely on Black Friday. I'm always trying to get uh, these since it's on sale, typically. A few of these are tuned once, especially towards the end. And the reasoning is because uh, it doesn't end on like an even number. And so I try to break it down in a in a regular way. Uh, this one you can see though, I, I don't know how this happened. It looks like a little piece of it kind of is falling off there, but otherwise it's in really good condition. So that's great. We also have Baki. Baki's not in a glossy format here. Baki is actually in um, matte. So I chose to do Baki in matte. Again, you have the Maximum Tournament Saga on the side. That way you can kind of figure out where Baki's at. And we can see 18. Um, and I change the colors up each time. Inside, it's pretty plain for the hard covers. Just so you can kind of see Baki. Or, it's the same kind of deal here. It just kind of wraps over. Nothing too exciting. Uh, 19. Again, the Baki. If you haven't checked out Baki, it's really another fighting a series, except Baki is totally ridiculous. Totally insane. I would say Hajime no Ko is certainly more realistic. Uh, Baki is absolute nonsense. People will break their bones in order to extend their reach of the fight and then dislocate their bones as well. Just on command. Because... <laughs> Yeah, you know, why not? And other people have like guns and, sh and shit hidden in their bones and, and poison and things like that. And it's just accepted. Other people are like cyborg people, kind of wild. The last one here is Outside Story. This one is kind of guided. So it's got Baki uh, guided outside story and then Baki guided. It's like, I can't remember the exact name of it. It's like Dopo Crouching Tiger or something like that. Uh, so I picked those two because they're both 
um, kind of flashback series and they're one shot volumes. And so that's how I decided to end off back Baki the Grappler. So this is the end of Baki the Grappler ends in 22 tune ones. Uh, so 44 volumes long or really just 42 regular volumes with two extras there. I have a different series here that I haven't printed yet, but I have it all done. It's called Cross Managed by Kaito, the same author as Blue Flag. You can see here we have the spine, the back, the front. Uh, what this is about, um, pretty much she convinces him to be the manager for lacrosse on the girls lacrosse team. Uh, Toyoguchi will stop at nothing to recruit Sakurai to manage the girls lacrosse team. There you go. Despite Sakurai's multiple refuses, Toyoguchi won't take no for an answer when it comes to recruiting him to manage the girls lacrosse team. What's more, her boundless enthusiasm is starting to win Sakurai over. Um, so I was a big fan of Blue Flag when I read it. I really didn't like the ending, but like, you know, otherwise a very good series, I felt. Um, so I wanted to print this out. I tried to make it kind of emulate the uh, Blue Flag um, look as much as I could. So I made the spines completely custom. Uh, the back's mostly custom <laughs> and the front I got from the uh, Viz website. So that was pretty easy. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. And uh, it, I actually got it all done in one night, just in time. I, I did it on like Cyber Monday. So that way I could still make the sale. And again, the fifth volume is the last volume. It'd be really nice to get this as a official Viz Sig release. Uh, this is the final volume, like I said earlier. Um, but you know, it would probably be pretty close to identical to, to this release. In my opinion, I would have to say that I did a pretty darn good job here. So yeah, excellent, um, excellent place to get the manga that is not maybe available in English. If that's something you're interested in, like I said earlier, let me know, uh, either on Instagram or shoot me an email. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, this is pretty much the exact this kind of edition. Let's go down into some more of the uh, common man manga, you might say. All right. So we've got Kaguya Sama Love is War Volume 27. Uh, I think this is the penultimate volume. Uh, you know, again, same author as a uh, oh boy, um, Oshinokoi, but uh, I, so Kaguya Sama is was a blast. I've been watching it. I, I stopped watching it around the same time as the movie came out. I think it was around like season three because uh, there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, Chainsaw Man Volume 13. I've heard mixed things about this sequel uh, series. So this is part two. Um, My Hero Academy. This is a really cool cover. I gotta say uh, and a nice little spine back here. Uh, Yona of the Dawn Volume 40. This series I don't think is ever going to end. It's just going to go forever. Boruto Volume 18. This series it does have an end, sadly. Well, I guess not really an end, but it does go to a time skip. Boruto looks sick AF there. Uh, so far, people have been actually really talking positively about Boruto. Thank God, finally. Uh, so Boruto is really good, and it took people a long time to decide that, yeah, you know what, Man Manga Boy is right. We need to be reading Boruto. What are we doing trying to watch the anime? That's messed up of us. And so finally people are watching it. Oh, wait, no, they're watching it on their manga reading list. They're not watching it, watching it. So I'm super happy to see that. Um, <laughs> Sakamoto Day, so I'm 10. Another amazing series, a little bit of a shift off to the side of the smack by Viz. Nice job, guys. Gosh darn, Lola did it better over here, okay? I did it better myself. Take, you know, maybe you just want to give me this manga for free and I can critique your guys' printing skills. If you need some tips, on, you know, I'm your guy, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, Sakamoto Dates has been really good. Definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, Blade of the Immortal Princess by the same author as uh, Spike Family. The series, I don't really lasted very long, maybe five or six volumes, something like that, pretty short. Uh, the first volume was kind of lengthy and it was it was okay. It wasn't as good as I was hoping it was gonna be. Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with these green spines here. I actually really like this. I kind of was hoping for like a rainbow, um, but this actually looks really cool. Excited to give this a read through. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure parts it was actually pretty good. I really like this inside here with the bricks because it's kind of emulating jail. Which is always nice, you know. You got like jail, uh, just a few pages from like the first half of it here. Uh, wow, 
Whoa, whoa, we wow. A JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 follows uh, uh, Jotaro's uh, daughter here, actually, but she's kind of like estranged. And uh, she ends up in jail through some uh, bizarre circumstances, as you might believe it. Uh, you know, kind of unusual for a JoJo's Bizarre, bizarre Adventure series to start off with bizarre circumstances. Like, what are the odds of that? Uh, but yeah, we have a few color pages in here as well. And, and of course, this recently aired on Netflix. Yeah, already checked it out. Uh, just a few pages of play uh, of the Moon Princess here. Again, it was okay. Just kind of like a, um, you know, uh, the moon gets taken over. She has to go to Earth. Uh, and she follows these people around who take care of her. Things happen. They get attacked. She has to defend them. That kind of a thing. Sakamoto Day's assassin retired gets pulled back into it just when you think you're out you're back in it uh it's a lot of fun tons of great action and amazing comedy as well this is like a better gintama in my opinion if i had to compare it to anything else boruto is like uh you know naruto if naruto had a kid and then he grew up but he thought being the hokage was dumb that's kind of boruto oh also if he was like taken over by an alien instead of a fox demon you know, it's like not that different. They're still ninja, right? But they also have like Game Boy, you know. Uh, anyways, the series has gotten pretty good because um, Borto's starting to get taken over by the karma. A lot of things are going against Borto's way. He's always been like kind of seen as a prodigy. The Hokage son, like a little spoiled brat, bitch whiner. Uh, and then like now things are like really starting to suck for him big time. He is being targeted. Uh, his brother is like, maybe not so nice, you know, and you know, a lot of cool things happening. So it's a great time to be a Boruto fan. Uh, definitely check it out. Again, you know, 18 volumes at this point. It's really not a huge ask uh, to read through it. Uh, you know, the Dawn volume 40. Heard great things about this series. 40 volumes in. I haven't read a single one. Wow, that's got to be a record for for big dummy and <laughs> big dummy moments um but yeah I, I hear nothing but great things about this manga it's an amazing fantasy story with some romance involved into it it's very excited to give it a read through uh, my hero academia uh, volume 36 i've actually read probably 18 volumes of this but i've actually seen uh, uh three or four four or five seasons of it i think actually um i was watching it with my wife and then she kind of fell off of it and therefore i started to fall off of it too uh, but yeah, you know, this series has been pretty good. I at the arc right when the Dark Deku arc, I didn't read it or didn't watch it because people have like, eh, their Deku wasn't as good as I thought. And so I was like, yeah, maybe I'll just read it. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, Chainsaw Man volume 13. This is like the third volume of part two or maybe the second. Uh, so we're not super far into it. I've heard people say mixed things about part two, uh, you know, not as good as the first one. Or like Denji is just extra dominant for no reason, that kind of a thing. Uh, so we'll have to see how I like it. I kind of am trying to kind of pile up a few volumes because uh, Chainsaw Man does get read like really fast. You just kind of cruise through it and then you're like, oh, I kind of wish I had more. <laughs> so, but the first volume was really good. Uh, so this has been a really good slice of life volume here. I guess I'm in love is war. Essentially, the vice president and the presidents are in love with each other. But how will they ever confess? Well, apparently they did like halfway through the series. And uh, this is kind of just the follow through with it. So, you know, the characters in this series are what really bring it to life. I really like just about every single one. Um, you know, especially Jifuyu. I think that's how you say her name. Jifuya, maybe. Uh, Chika, sorry, it's Chika Fujiwara. I'm kind of confusing her friend with another character. She's like uh, Queen Bay. She's the best. She's in every uh, anime ending ever uh, with these sick dance moves. Definitely worth checking out just for that. Uh, let's go through some of these beautiful prints by me. Oh, I think I did such a good job with these, honestly. This is some of the best work. Uh, you know, who am I to say? You know, let's leave it to the public. What do you guys think? Some of my best work? Yeah, you tell me. Anyway, so we have here the artwork. Wow, this looks like a lot of fun. Um, like I said, by the same author as Blue Flag. And this is called Cross Manage um, or Cross Menage. I think it's Cross Manage because I'm trying to be a manager of lacrosse. <laughs> uh, that looks inappropriate. Sakurai, take your clothes off. Ooh. But you know that this is going to be a fun kind of like a coming of age story with a lot of 
great enjoyable times and it's it's in the a show and jump manga blue or not uh, but i did blow it up to kind of this size we also have baki the grappler again i'm not going to show you the end of it in case for whatever reason you're a psychopath you're interested in baki and you haven't checked out the netflix anime which is like superb um but here's volume 17 just a few pages of some of the earlier fights in Baki. Of course, this is just before they get absolutely insane. Sadly, these are um, White Fang um, translations because I, there's not one by not White Fang. Uh, if you guys didn't know, White Fang kind of has a loosey goosey translation. Some people just say that they just made up nonsense. Other people say that they just made like assumptions in some parts and translated others. And some just said it's machine translated. And so it's kind of, just widely accepted, not a great translation. So I would check out the anime instead of reading the manga, uh, unless you can get your hands on an official translation, which does not exist at this time. Uh, so that's a bummer, but other later series of it does actually have legit translations. I will say that I read through Wolf Fang's translations in the past. They weren't like terribly far off when I could remember when I watched the anime. Um, but, uh, I could, there's definitely some like, Hmm, I don't remember it being like quite like that, but you know, so you could still kind of point these things out, but it's, it's fine. You get your Baki fix and it, Baki the grappler is hardly the most, uh, literary uh, genius work by, uh, you know, Itagaki also the same author, uh, his daughter, or I don't know if they have a different gender they go by, but, uh, they make um beast be something um i can't remember the name of it because i didn't read it you know the one the one with the wolf and the bunny rabbit that's the one beast complex beast stars that's a beast stars i don't know why i blanked out on that uh how do you know po again just like back these have glossy pages on the inside uh <laughs> the artwork is blown up this one has super crisp scans. Backies are, you know, as good as I can find, but Epo is like gorgeous uh, scans here. Again, I really recommend checking out this series if you haven't. Uh, you know, even if you have to get introduced in it through the anime, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. The anime doesn't quite exactly follow the manga one to one. It does run a little bit, uh, from what I've been told. I've only seen a few clips of it. Um, but the manga is so good, you know, I feel like if, if you need to get any sort of a gateway into the series, you know, get it and then just ride the manga wave afterwards, you know, uh, I think you could miss a few things and still totally be fine if, if, you know, you go through the MA and you soup around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I really think that this, this whole turned out great, uh, especially with, with Epo. I'm so happy to have Epo and Baki the Grappler done. Um, part one for, for, I guess both of them, right? And look at that. Oh my God. Baki, especially. Holy shit, right? Doesn't that, that looks super good, right? This looks awesome. And it's matte and Ipo. I wish I kind of had a little bit more variety here, uh, but <laughs> it's because it's in the other volumes. So I'm still really happy to have this all like this. Uh, super excited to uh, read through these in my, my leisure. Uh, but yeah, these turned out great, and of course, you know, you can't forget Cross Managed by the author of Blue Flag. Also turned out good. I was kind of worried that these spines might have been too thin, but you know, they ended up being just the right normal exact size. So I was happy with that too. Overall, super good haul. Happy with everything. And then I got the officials too. Yeah, I got the officials too. So yeah, if you're interested in printing, let me know. Uh, and you know, click the links down below, shoot me an Instagram message, shoot me an email, be happy to help out. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, thank you to Sakurako and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring today's video. Please, you know, feel free to click on the link below or use code man to get 5% off. Get one for yourself, get one for the loved ones, you know, that way you can experience Japan from the comfort of your own homes and start the new year right with that brand new resolution you have to eat more Japanese snacks. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.